I had no idea this is happening. Now we have Victor and Venus IS 3.11. And now, welcome back to the channel. Toby's Real Skills with Toby. Short update. We just had an update. <laughs> we just had an update on Victor and Venus IS 3.10. They brought out another minor fix, I would say. And uh, we'll just get started in this. Um, there's not a lot. I just want to show you the release notes because I, I know they're not always up there and some people were asking where can I find them. So here they are and you can see we do have a change log. That's what they call it, change log. And we can see the version 3.11 as of October 10th, which is yesterday or in my case when I record a video, yesterday. And here are the changes. It's not a lot what they have this time because they just released a major version. Um, here we have... I don't even have to read through it, but pause the video, look at it. I don't want to go too fast over it. I realized last time I uh, had some feedback, so I'll don't rush over it. Slowing it down here. So we have the first point, show warning in the firmware on the MK3 controller built into the GX device has not been updated yet. See the version 3.0 blog post. Then we have the Ecrano GX, which I still haven't seen, sadly. Um, I try to get my hands on it. Is it here in the US at all? Let me know. Uh, remote firmware updates issue with VCAN. So yeah, the remote firmware update mechanism did not accept having two ports configured with the VCAN profile. All right, and we have a fixed user interface bug concerning generator start stop related to modifying the total runtime as well as service interval. Uh, okay, then we have a solar and wind priority. Fix a small bug around charge, battery, 200% visualization. Then they have various fixes for dynamic ESS. And remote multi and quattro firmware updates. Fix bug where the multis and quattros don't show on, 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 the four, sorry, on, on, the VRM firmware update. Device list and MK3 firmware has not been upgraded. Uh, you know, when you have those issues with the 310, the way to update, since the updates are so, in my opinion, nice. So as always, I do connect via remote to my um, test Raspberry Pi 4, which is running currently Venus OS. And we'll see, setting firmware 3.10. So that means we want to go, as always, let me start from here, just that we can go through it together. You know the drill in the meantime, so go to settings. We'll go to firmware. And then we see the version, the current version, and then we go to online updates. And we do that now. And then we see update feed. We want to see the latest release, unless you want to see the better version and whatnot, you can change that. If not, you want to see the latest release, and you can see already there is already an update available. So just do the press to check if it's not available for you. And then update available, and we can see it's a 3.11. And we'll update it now together. As I mentioned again, the Raspberry Pi 4, Venus OS, 3.10. I only have three one-wire temperature sensors connected to it. Actually, two, and I do have to set a Palpar installed. So when I install this or when I do an update, I hope everything comes back up, installs it automatically, and I don't have to worry at all about it. So we'll do that. Downloading and installing firmware 3.11. We'll see how long it takes. So let's see and try to reconnect. It's not even a minute, I would say, a little bit more than a minute probably. And also you saw there's a Raspberry Pi 5 out, right? So everyone is already asking, hey, can I use the Raspberry Pi 5? I have to dig into that. Oh, there we are. We're back online. Let's see. Most likely the setup helper will do some work here. Let me reconnect and see if it does. Nope, oh, there we are back. Settings from where 3.11 is installed. We'll give it some time because it might need to install package manager. And here we can see the package manager, which is a setup helper, check if it updates, installing GUI mods and stuff. Yep. So it's doing the magic automatically. Let me know if you have issues with that or if it's also working like on my device so far pretty well. Remember, I do not have connected anything else to this device because it's my test device just a one wire temperature sensor. Google mode is installed. There we are. 
3D plane. Awesome. Let me check firmware again. I want to go online updates. I want to see press check. We have the latest version. All right. Package manager. Looks good. Installed. Everything's installed. What I'm using here. Awesome. The one wire temperature sensor and the Raspberry Pi processor temperature, they work out of the box with the setup helper. Thanks again to Kevin. There's a video up there where you can download, install it, and that will help you a lot for those updates I'm doing. It's such a breeze to do. It's really easy. Unless there's a breaking change or something, then there might be an issue doing that. But so far, this is working very well. So let me know in the comment section below if the if you need to have the 3.11, if you have some issues before uh, with the 3.10 or maybe experience other issues. Also, um, if it's also that easy for you to upgrade or maybe a shunt or having an MPPT charger from Victron connected um, might break this. Let me know. I'm really curious about that part. So far, it works for me. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope this helps you to see, okay, there's a new version out there. And uh, also seeing the changelog helps you to decide if you want to do the update or not. Thanks for watching. Cheers.